Look at that. <laughs> Overlay is pretty cool, right? Yes. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, I'll turn the middle piece. Ooh, ooh it's kind of trippy. We just made these crazy easy snowflakes. It would blow your mind how easy it is. <laughs> and we'll show you how we did it right, right now. now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a builder make it? Great. That's what we do on this channel every week. It's December 20th. So this will be our last Christmas project of the year. And a little Christmas gift from us to you as we're making a snowflake. <laughs> and a little gift from you to us is we just hit 20,000 subscribers! <laughs> Thank you guys, that is so awesome. Well, we didn't know we would ever get here. I can't tell you how much I appreciate all of the nice comments and feedback. We have so many comments and everyone has nice things to say. We get very little hate. We were which... expecting a lot more hate. <laughs> and I really, really appreciate all the funny comments you guys make and uh, tips, tricks, thoughts. I love it all and I feel like I just chit chat right back with you guys. Oh yeah. You guys provide so much information back to us through the comments. The tips, the tricks, I mean we've used them all. All the tips and tricks that you guys have supplied us. We've incorporated into our projects. And I love so. seeing the same names every week. I get, I feel like I get to know you guys a little bit because a lot of you comment and, and I'm like, yes, I know. you talk, We talked about that last week and I'm doing this this week and it's funny we have some, <laughs> We have some deep subscribers that go back to like 500, 200 subscribers. We do. You guys know who you are. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Step one. We need to gather all of our snowflake supplies. So we're gonna need, for my project, I'm gonna need one one by two and two fence pickets. <laughs> he had those balancing on his knee. <laughs> and for mine, I need three one by fours and a one by two. Step two. We're gonna make all of our cuts. <laughs> this one was a tricky one, but since we did our star like two weeks ago, I'll put that video right here. <laughs> we learned how to make angles, even sharper angles than we knew the miter saw could do. First, I measured out all of the boards, but I remembered to leave an inch just for mistakes. Then I made all of those cuts. I cut all of my boards to about the approximate length they'll be. I took a scrap 2x4 and a scrap 2x6 to make a guide. I pinned them together at the bottom. And then I put them on my miter saw. I set the blade to 30 degrees. 30. I made my cut. Eh. I set the blade back to zero. Then I position the board so that the blade cuts just to the left of center. Then I flip the board and make the same cut. Bam, 60 degree point. I did the same thing with the one by threes, but I had to use a scrap piece of two by four to set as a stop block so it wouldn't go too deep. Bam, 60 degrees. And then I cut the little snowflake wing tips and I just cut the corner off that. I slid the guide in so it would just cut the corner off. I set a stop block up to all the correct lengths and I cut all my 1x4s and all my 1x2s and my little snowflake wing tips. Finally I had to make my diamonds so I moved the blade over to 45, made my first cut, used that piece to measure my second cut and then I used that first diamond to lay down the template for all of my other cuts and I went ahead and cut 12 of these diamonds out. Step three, assembly. We're gonna bring it all together. We'll do Kim's first since hers is a little more intricate. I got a lot going on. She's got a lot of pocket holes to do. Big dreams. Too. We're gonna put pocket holes in all of her little wing tips and all of her main snowflake pieces. I guess let's start pinning it together, see if it works.
That was a great idea with the pocket holes. All right, that's what we've got so far. A little pocket hole pattern. Looking good. All right, now let's do all the little pocket holes on the fins. I, I love the Craig jig because we're about to hide all of these screws. Yes, everything's completely hidden. If you're going to do any woodworking, you're definitely going to start with a Craig jig. We did. All right, we're going to try pocket hole in these little things. Little guys, yeah. All right, that's the back side with all the pocket holes in it. Look at that, that looks so good. There you go, there is without the pocket holes. Pretty cool, huh? Yes. I drew on it down there. Don't, don't mind. Ignore that. Ignore that. We're going to paint right. over it. We're going to put mine together now. Now we're doing my snowflake. You guys get to vote again. Which one you like better? Oh, yeah, another voting thing. Our kids have already told us which ones they like, which one they like better. Mine's very diamond esque. Diamond esque. Do you want me to glue them? Yeah, just throw some glue on there. Oh, you don't want me to glue them together? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. Let's glue them together. Oh, I guess I gotta open it. I'm just gonna use this little piece here to tack them all together. I got my three quarter inch bread. Go ahead. The nail, not the guy. And no battery. <laughs> just wait. Huh? <laughs> Voila! There's part of my snowflake. You should just rotate yours. It's like a propeller. <laughs> Is that tripping you out? No. Now all of my little diamonds. Uh, do you want to like, mark them all like, wherever this one yes, is? Yes, yeah. Let's measure that. Let's make them consistent. Now that I'm done playing around. You done playing around? <laughs> Blue dubs. Alright, I'm gonna swap out. Oops. Big bread for little bread. I'm going in with a little bread. <laughs> Three quarter inch bread. Cool like it is. Very sparse snowflake. Look at that! Look how easy that was! Alright, there's my snowflake. Very diamond esque. Step four! Now we paint! I'm going to do two coats of paint on mine. I'm coming in with a blue 
And then I'm gonna come in with a white. And mine's gonna be a dirty snowflake. I'm coming dirty. in with truffle and then putting white on top. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna distress it. Oh yeah, and then we're distressing it. To the paint! I've got my brown coat on. Next step, add my white right on top. He's still working, he, he's got like tons of paint. I can't tell you how wet this thing is. It's chalk paint, it dries, it dries quickly. Fast, though. That's why I like it, it dries fast, we're good, and a heat gun. Step five! Now we're gonna distress it. Well, she's gonna distress hers, and I'm gonna try the dry brush technique. So I have the brown with a coat of white. The coat of white is real thin, so I can just sand right through it. And I'm gonna do dry brush. If you like today's video, hit that like button. Remember, leave us a comment. You gotta vote. Remember, we're voting. Mine's manageable, <laughs> and hers is a monstrosity. Made, made a giant snowflake Who makes again. things that big? <laughs> I, I did kind of know it was going to be this big, but now it's, it's just still big. It's. I, I like know. how big it is. <laughs> I was just trying my diamonds out. They look awesome. I love it. I mean, I love it. That's totally from Frozen. Frozen 2, y'all. Oh, wait. <laughs> what? That, oh, no. A super manly snowflake right there. Well, I didn't think any snowflake was manly. I was just <laughs> trying to do something different. I don't know. Now I feel weird about it. Thanks. <laughs> you guys aren't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Tick that bell because we do this every week. Well, not snowflakes. <laughs> Something. We do it, build it, or make it every week, and we'll see you next week. Oh, if you want to watch something, if you're still here, watch that one. <laughs> this one might be too much for you. <laughs>